Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Amy's Favorite Things. I'm Amy Eversell, the Adult Services Librarian, and today we're going to be baking or crock potting, whichever you want to call it. Uh, a little tasty little treat to help beat the winter blues. It's going to be a crock pot and a better than you know what, just in case we have any, any young, you know, audience uh, watching this video, but it's a better than you know what cake recipe. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, a devil's food chocolate cake mix, um, plus whatever ingredients like it says to do on the box, which is like water and eggs and oil. So you got your cake mix in the bowl. We're gonna do three eggs, a fourth a cup of water, a three fourths of a cup of vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're gonna do, um, you're going to need a 14 can, uh, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. You're going to put half in here and you're going to leave half to pour over your uh, cake in a little while. And you're going to need chocolate chips. So I've got my my mix, my eggs, my water, my oil, my, egg, uh, my vanilla extract, and half of the condensed milk in my bowl. I'm just going to mix this up and I'm going to pour it, and it says a cup of the uh, chocolate chips. I only have the mini chocolate chips, so I might have to use a little bit more just to cover my um, mix. And then um, we'll go from, I'll tell you more in just a moment. Okay, so here is my batter all mixed up. I'm gonna pour it in the crock pot I have on and heating up behind me. I have sprayed the uh, crock pot with a little uh, Pam or any kind of cooking spray you can use. Um, and, or if you're a fan of crock pot liners, you can also use one of those. It makes just the cleanup afterwards easier. I am going to put this in. I'm gonna to top it with my chocolate chip. And then I'm going to cover and on high for two to three hours. We'll check this at two hours to make sure to see if it's done. And then um, I'll be back to show you how to put in the filling. Okay, we're back. I think it was about three hours and hope you can see, but I've started poking holes just in the top part of my cake. And uh, to do that, all I took was a wooden spoon and just And you can tell it's completely done. My spoon ain't even dirty. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got the other half of my condensed milk. And I'm just gonna spread it out on top here. Help it out a little bit. make sure it gets good and down in the little holes I've made evenly yeah so got that poured on and spread out so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some caramels like you would use for ice cream or anything and I'm just going to drizzle this over the cake and I am going to spread this over the top making sure again that it gets in the little holes I made and I'm going to let my crock pot cool down to room temperature once it's to room temperature I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to chill and then we'll be back to top this bad boy so we'll be back in just a moment okay we're back it's chilled for 30 minutes in the refrigerator and i'm going to add my cool whip topping now and you'll probably use about a whole tub you're just going to cover it make a nice little layer with it I am not the best sprayer in the world of like when it comes to icing or anything. Mine is never pretty. It might be covered, but it's not pretty. But if you 
get the job done. All right, I have cool now. Um, I'm gonna top it. This recipe had originally called for Heath bars, but I didn't have no Heath bars, so I cut up some Rollos that I did have on hand, and I am just going to top this. But you can top with uh, Snickers bars, Butterfingers. You could do you just any kind of candy uh, that you like you, that you want to do. You can do. And I just happen to have some Rollos left over from another program, and I said, why not that? So I'm gonna do some Rollos, and I am gonna add a little bit of pecans. And these are the kind that's already chopped up, so I don't have to cut them myself. Just a few. And shake it on there. And voila, here is your completed better than you know what cake. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and until next time stay safe.